Hello, welcome. In this course, you will learn how to create your own affiliate program. What is an affiliate program? Well, imagine that you have a website like mine, a course website where you want to reach as many people as possible, but it is often difficult and paying for ads on Google, Facebook, and any other provider is not always the best solution, because many times you have to spend a lot of money that does not come in the form of a return and because many times we do not have the necessary knowledge to be able to, well, work with these types of resource providers. So when this happens, one of the best options is to create your own affiliate program. Why? Because for you, so to speak, it is free as the website owner, because you are not going to offer anything unless there is a conversion on your site. And for the affiliates, who are people who share your content, they are going to get benefits without actually doing anything, simply by sharing your content, sharing your courses, right? So, there is a benefit for both parties. Your part as the owner of the site does have more work because you have to carry out the affiliate program, perform all the controls, make the payments and check that everything is okay. But on the affiliate's part, it's something that doesn't really require much investment of time, it's sharing your content on their website, on pages of interest, wherever and through a code they will be able to generate passive benefits. Right? So this would be an affiliate program, the logic of an affiliate program. What we are going to see now is how the one we have developed works. We start with this project that you will have attached in the course file section. You will have at your disposal the initial project that would be memberships with Lara Bellstripe and Philemon 3. And you will also have at your disposal the final project so that you can download the initial one and start with it in the final one and be able to review it in case of doubts. I will be working as always with Lara Sill. If you don't want to work with Lara Sile, you can do it with any tool you want, but I highly recommend that you do it with Lara Sile today, because that's how we're going to be working at all times, especially to expose our local environment so that Stripe can communicate with us. Yes. So we're going to use a Poncode tool called Export Server, and an alternative would be Grok. If you don't use Lara Sile, you'll have to find your own alternative. The same goes for sending emails. We're going to use Milpit through a service from our Docker Compost, and if you don't use Lara Sile, you'll have to find an alternative. Yes, that said, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Here we would have the administration. If I go here, notice that I'm in the membership section and I have to create the products. This means that in the product catalog of the account we're using, always a test account, there are no products registered. Well, we don't have any products, but this project we're starting with has the option of creating products in Stripe. Yes, I can click here and all the products are created in Stripe. With this, if we go back here to the product section of my test Stripe account, we will see that the three products have been created, annual, quarterly and monthly memberships, which are recurring payments, right? So on the one hand, we would already have this information, which is the information we need. Then in the administration with Philemon, we also have the affiliate section where we can create new records for our affiliates. We can register an affiliate. In this case, to register an affiliate, we would first look for a user, the affiliate user. We could put whatever the referral code is. This code is what will be used to identify the user who has to share, right? Then, for the PayPal account, we could put affiliate at m.com, for example. The life of the cookie. We are going to manage this information with cookies. Cookies live in the user's browser and are the easiest way we have today to track user activity through the browser on our websites. Okay, so when an affiliate link is shared, we're going to ask for the user's consent when they arrive at our site, as you'll see below. And if they accept the consent, then we're going to generate a cookie in the browser that we're going to track. We can set the cookie's lifespan to 10 days, for example, the reward for registrations. We're going to have two types of rewards for affiliates, for registration and for subscription. For registration, it could be, for example, a fixed amount, 1 euro each time a user registers and verifies their account. We're going to reward them with 1 euro for each subscription purchase. Let's put 25 euros, and instead of 25 euros, we're going to say that it's going to be a percentage amount. 25% of the subscription that the user has purchased. Yes, let's create it and with this we should already have the affiliate's information. Notice that here there's a section for visits and another for earnings. From here we're also going to be able to see the information, 
what's happened with the affiliate. And we are going to develop all of this in the affiliate part in Philemon because this does not come with the initial project. Once we have this code, we can copy it. We can go to a new browser and notice that there are no cookies here. Notice that we are in the local host cookies. There is none that says it is from the affiliate program. What we can do is register, for example, or we can directly put a question mark here and put the code here. When we do this, we are going to program this window to appear and it will inform that we must accept an affiliate key because that is what the GDPR states. This means that when a user, ah, uh, when we have clients in the European Union, we have to comply with this to register, to generate cookies. And in our case, what we are going to do is show this modal window so that they can explicitly accept the consent for us to register the cookie. If we click on reject, nothing will happen. Instead, if we go back again and enter ref in the correct code and click accept, the affiliate cookie will be generated. Well, we have called it Lara Affiliate. Once this cookie has been generated, all the behavior we do until the date on which the cookie expires, which if we look here, well in our case it would be the 18th, which is 10 days, starting today, the 8th, all the behavior, all the operations, transactions that we do will be linked to the affiliate with whom you have accessed, which in this case would be the affiliate that we have registered in the administration. At this point I could come here to register with a new account. When I register, I already have the affiliate cookie, but this does not mean anything because we have set that the accounts have to be verified. Until the accounts are verified, a user is not considered registered and verified. So if I click on register it will say that I am registered and I will receive an email. This email that I receive here I have to confirm it. Once I confirm it, since I came with an affiliate link, and the cookie is there, it has to allow this benefit to go to the affiliate. So if I click on confirm, notice that here we will receive an email right now, which would be this one which is executed with some jobs that we have also programmed through events, listeners and notifications. And it tells the affiliate affiliate at m.com that a user has registered and that here is the amount that they have earned, which would be 1 euro. All this happens because this affiliate has shared this code. The visit would appear here and the earnings would appear here, which would be this one here by this user, yes? So this would be the first transaction that would have been carried out. But now, in addition, this user, while the cookie is still alive, we are going to close the windows, could come to the membership section and subscribe, but it will ask for a payment method. So we have to add a payment method. When we go to add a payment method, previously in the billing section we are going to have an error and that is normal. And I explain in the course why we have to enable this URL. Yes, we are going to go to this URL and from here we have to activate the test link. Basically this is the Stripe billing portal and we have to enable it for all this to work. If we go back to the browser and refresh, this error will now disappear because it is a temporary error as the Stripe payment portal has not been configured. Yes, once we have it, we can register our payment method here and we can also return to the website. Here we are simply going to register a test card, which is one of the most popular from Stripe. We can put 1125111 here and click on add. With this what we do is add a payment method to be able to buy subscriptions. If we return to the page, now we can subscribe and if we review the issue of cookies again, which is what interests us in application, here we still have the affiliate cookie. So if I sign up for this plan and we have a 25% profit for affiliates, because that's how we've marked it in their account, the user will receive 3 euros and 75 cents for 15 euros, which is a quarter. If I click on subscribe, we have to wait for the whole process to be completed, but once it's finished, it doesn't say that we're no longer subscribed, everything appears fine here. And if we go to the emails, notice that another email also appears. Congratulations, subscription purchase, amount 3 euros and 75 cents, that is, it's been tracked. We've tracked the affiliate link, the cookie, and everything is working correctly. Now what we could do is go back to the customers in our portal to this customer here, and we could cancel this subscription so that it's no longer active. If we cancel this subscription and go back to the user and update, 
Notice that now it tells us that we're not subscribed because we've cancelled the plan. If we delete this affiliate cookie and now we are not an affiliate, but a normal user who has come to the website from another site and clicks on subscribe to any other plan. Now the affiliate will not receive the reward because we are not tracking the cookie. If we go to the emails, notice that nothing has arrived here. We have received the ones we had received before. And if we go to the affiliate settings, we will see that these two have been received, but the last one, which is the quarterly subscription, has not been received because the cookie was no longer present. Yes. So this is all that we are going to be developing. It is a complete affiliate program with Arabelle from scratch, as always, with no dependencies other than Arabelle Kaiser to be able to carry out the subscription payment process, but that is already included in the initial project that I am going to share with you so that you can get started with it. So, I hope you find this type of development interesting and useful. In the end, it is about solving a problem that we can encounter at any time. And the problem is how can we track a user's cookie from point A to point B, which is from the moment they arrive on the website until they make a conversion. And we're going to cover this entire process from scratch and in its entirety in this course. So, thank you for your time, I hope you find it interesting and if so, I'll see you there. Cheers.